This is Mark Brand from Alpha Controls, one of Canada's leading suppliers of sensing, measuring and controlling instrumentation for a variety of different industries, such as pharmaceutical, food and beverage, cosmetics, and cannabis, just to name a few. So today we're going to talk about active air samplers. Active air samplers are used for the collections of microorganisms in clean spaces, often referred to as viable monitoring. You might ask yourself why you need to do this. Well, depending on the industry, you might be required to do this type of testing by the regulatory agencies such as FDA or Health Canada. So to achieve an active air sample, an agar plate is placed in the unit and the sample is drawn. Once the sample is complete, the plate is removed, incubated and inspected for any growth. Any growth is going to be referred to as a colony forming unit or a CFU. And now based on these results, you'll be able to take appropriate action such as reject or accept a batch or certify a room. We've been selling and servicing particle measuring systems equipment for over eight years. Today, we're gonna to discuss the Minicap Mobile. The Minicap Mobile comes with a whole host of features, such as a rechargeable battery, radial slit pattern, and HEPA filtered exhaust. For today's video, we're gonna focus in on the compressed gas kit, one of the many accessories available for the Minicap Mobile. So why do we monitor compressed gases? Compressed gases get used in industries such as pharmaceutical and cosmetics and come in direct contact with the product or the clean space and therefore require to be monitored to meet GMP requirements. The Minicap Mobile, along with the compressed gas kit, is a great tool to monitor your compressed gases. Taking a sample is very simple. First of all, you need to connect the compressed gas kit onto the Minicap Mobile, which we've already done here, and then make sure you're connected to your compressed gas line. After that, all that needs to be done is to ensure the compressed gas mode is selected and you got the proper pressure settings. Run your sample and you're done. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.